let's face it, times are changing and the pace of life is rapidly increasing. We make tools to make work easier on Earth, and we also have efficient transportation systems. However, this is a different situation for those aboard the International Space Station. Because of the microgravity environment, what may be a simple task on Earth is made extremely difficult on the space station. So my objective is to create an efficient object transportation system. And I have two ways to do this. So I have two prototypes I've built. One is a vacuum tube system that uses liquid adhesion, and the other is a magnetic levitation device. I predict that the workload for astronauts will be significantly reduced if tools and equipment are pre-delivered and shipped to the workstation using either of these technologies. So here's the vacuum system. It's composed of three different parts. You have the outer suction tube, the inner transport vessel, and you have the connective vacuum pumps. This isn't any ordinary vacuum pump system. This actually utilizes the behavior of liquids in space. As you can see here, this outer tube is fitted with a teardrop shape, and this acute angle will draw the fluid down due to surface tension forces. The transport vessel also has a narrow edge that will enable the fluid to connect the two tubes, ensuring a smooth transport. Activate a vacuum pump, and your object will travel smoothly to the other side. So here we have the magnetic levitation device, or maglev, and I'll show you how this works. Place a magnet with its north pole pointing outward, set it on a track with magnets of similar polarities, and watch it glide due to the opposing forces. By using these technologies, we enable an astronaut to ship his or her tools to a workstation before he arrives there. With better research conditions, we enable astronauts to create more, to discover more. There are endless possibilities, and this transportation system can potentially change our world. I'm Kayla Briette. And don't forget to vote for my entry if you've enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching.